Joining us in our Tel Aviv studio is Yaakov Lapin, author of Virtual Caliphate, Exposing the Islamist State on the Internet. Yaakov, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Is the world a safer place now with the elimination of the Al-Qaeda head? Unfortunately, not really. Um, between the time of 2001, when bin Laden ordered those horrendous 9-11 attacks, and now, uh, Al-Qaeda has transformed itself completely, and it's no longer an organization that relies on a central leadership based in the Afghanistan-Pakistan region. It's now more of an idea, a world view, a network which anyone can subscribe to, set up a local franchise, uh, and begin spreading its poisonous ideas. So while I would not uh, for a second diminish the importance of, of removing the head of this organization, I wouldn't go as far as to say that the world is necessarily a safer place. What will become of the Al Qaeda movement now? Do you think it'll fall apart, or as you said, it will just it will stay without their leader? I don't think much will change at this point because Al Qaeda's uh, current form is, as I've said, a globalized, decentralized organization spread out around the world. Um, it exists partially on the internet. The internet is the lifeblood of Al Qaeda. That's where uh, weapons training can take place. That's where the spreading of poisonous ideology can sp uh, take place. Um, and then what happens is that these forces, these radicalized forces, they look for failed states where they can move in. And that's what has been happening in the past few years. If you look at places like Somalia, areas of Yemen, anywhere where they, there's a breakdown of central government, these radical forces are able to move in almost from the Internet, from the virtual sphere into the physical sphere. Um, and that means that because it's not based in one geographical location, there's no one brush of the stroke that could automatically eliminate this problem. This is going to take many years. Um, for uh, the physical destruction of Al-Qaeda to take place and the idea of Al-Qaeda, which is no less important, the idea has, has to also be uh, wiped out. Yaakov, should we expect an upsurge of revenge attacks anywhere in the near future? It's very possible. Um, the Americans are certainly on alert and justifiably so. Um, Al-Qaeda is going to be seeking to uh, re regain its quote-unquote prestige. It's going to turn bin Laden into a martyr, an ultra-martyr, somebody who uh, has laid down his life for the cause. This is all um, in their language, in, the, in their ideology. Uh, they believe that there's only two ways of achieving victory, in their words, martyrdom or victory. And uh, bin Laden, like so many others uh, that he sent out, took the quote-unquote martyrdom option. So they're going to try and galvanize his death, use it to recruit more people and definitely they will try to justify further attacks by claiming that these are revenge attacks. In truth, some of these attacks would have gone ahead anyway. Um, but certainly the world has to be a little bit more guarded in the next few weeks and months to make sure that uh, a revenge attack uh, can be thwarted. Yaakov, the location of bin Laden's last hideaway is significant. It turned out that he left the caves he was supposedly hiding in a long time ago, but was in fact living in a highly populated city in Pakistan. What does this say about Pakistani th authorities who for years they've maintained that they had no idea where bin Laden was in hiding? It's very disturbing. Pakistan is a nuclear armed state. It's a state which um, in parts of its territory is experiencing nothing less than anarchy. There are dozens of Islamist, jihadi, Salafi groups vying for control of certain areas. The ISI, the Pakistani intelligence organization, has been accused by India and other Western sources, security sources, of, of, uh, of cooperating with uh, radical Islamist groups. And the fact that bin Laden was really living in this compound, this mansion, in the middle of uh, what is really an army city, and a, a large army base uh, in a city just north of Islamabad, um, should be raising some very disturbing questions about how much control Pakistan has over what's going on in its own territory. Yaakov Lappin, thanks so much for being our guest this evening. Thank you.